What is up guys, it's Mike here, welcome back to another video. Now, uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this TNT cannon right here. Now in one of my other videos where I showcased this TNT cannon, I told you I'd be making a tutorial on how to make it, and uh, well, this is it. So first of all, let's test it out if you didn't watch the other video. You're about to see how far this actually shoots TNT. Oh, uh, actually I got a problem. Found it. There's a that ought to fix it. Right, anyway, so you're about to see how far this shoots. Um, actually, let me change the timing on this. As you can see, it shoots very far. And I'm going to be showing you how to make this today, so, uh, yeah. And, uh, so let's get into the tutorial. So, what you're going to need to make this, you're going to need some obsidian. I mean, technically you can use any block that you want, but I recommend obsidian in case it fails. That way it won't explode. You're going to need any sort of slab. I'm just going to use stone slab for the purpose of this video. You're going to need some dispensers, some redstone dust, a redstone, some redstone repeaters, um, a button, and a water bucket. So to start off your TNT cannon, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place... Start out by, by placing three obsidian and this is going to be the back of your cannon and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place eight dispensers on the right side of this row of three of obsidian that you just made so eight dispensers notice the hole is facing inwards that's the way it's supposed to be facing so make sure it's facing inwards like that so it's five six seven eight and then on the last one you're going to place one obsidian and on this side, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to place eight dispensers with the one obsidian over there. So let's do that real quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to want to place that last obsidian. And now what you want to do is you want to get rid of all of this grass in the middle like this and place obsidian there so that if it does happen to explode, it won't destroy the grass. So now that you've done that, and that's going to be the sides of your can, you're going to want to place a stone slab or whatever slab you have in your inventory. You're going to want to place that on the last block between these two obsidian and uh, then you want to place your water water bucket of course. So now that you've done that you're going to want to put a redstone repeater facing into every each one of these dispensers on both sides. So you're going to want to put a repeater into each dispenser like this on both sides of your TNT cannon. And uh, make sure that you did not that you have it set to normal delay because you don't want it to be any more delay than what it is. And I need to change the time real quick. Whoops, alright there we go. So now that you've done that, what you're gonna want to do now is you're gonna want to place one block on the very top right if you're looking from the back like this, it's going to be the top right up here. You're going to want to place one block upwards like that. And then you're going to want to place a dispenser facing towards me. Like this. So that, and this is where, we're going to, where the TNT is going to come out that, that is going to get launched. It's going to be dispensed here, land here, and then that's, it's going to be launched over there. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to place two blocks like that so if you're on the back of the TNT cannon like this you're going to want to place two blocks to the right and then you're going to take your stone slab whatever slab you have on the top of this block you're going to go two to the right if you're if you're in the back and then you're going to bring your stone slabs forward like this until it connects with the front um, a block of obsidian here, and then you. This is where the the repeaters are going to go. That powers this dispenser right here. So you're gonna have a repeater here. We'll get to the lay later, actually. So you're gonna have a repeater here, and then you're gonna place one, two, three. F whoops. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight repeaters in a row, going forward and then you're going to place the repeater into this last dispenser and then you're going to want to put redstone dust 
on the corners like that. And then you're going to want to put all of these repeaters on full delay. So once we, we do that, we'll go on to the, la the last part of this. This actually is not that complicated to make, so... And then, yeah, um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to place a block of obsidian um, going away from the TNT can. You're going to place it below, one block below the level of the slabs, basically. And then you're going to have the redstone dust obviously going up, connecting to there. And then the, re the rest of the redstone dust can go and connect to these repeaters so that when you have a clock, which would be this right here, well, let me change the weather. Anyway, so that when you have the clock like this, when it's activated, it'll keep on going in a circle, and then it'll keep on firing the TNT cannon. So you're going to want to make sure that you have the redstone dust connected to these repeaters on both sides, like this. And then it's going to be need to be connected to this line of, of uh, redstone right here. And then once you do that, then all you really have to do now is uh, make the clock and then get some TNT. So let, you know what, let's get the TNT first. I didn't include that in my inventory right away because you don't need that until the end. So, But it is necessary to make this work, so yeah. So we're going to put one stack in each of these repeaters. You can put as much as you want in there. I'm just, for time's sake, because it takes a really long time to fill up a TNT can like this, especially with this many dispensers, I'm just going to put one stack like this. Whoops. I'll take that. And, uh, yeah. Well, I need to press that button to do that, because I still want this one stack like this, so I can just keep duplicating it basically. Like I said, you can uh, put as much TNT or as little TNT as you want in here, but for this sake I'm just going to put one stack in each of the dispensers. And then once I do that, all we have to do is make the redstone clock, and then we are good to go. So let's make this redstone clock real quick. So it's not that complicated of a clock. You're gonna place. Whoops, I need to back up. You're gonna place four. I still need to go farther back. Four repeaters like this, and you're gonna want to make sure that the corner of your clock is in line with this line of redstone right here. You'll see why in a second. Because you're gonna to need to place a redstone dust on each corner. And then, because it's it's in line with this, this redstone does here connects to that, and then we'll power that. So it's actually really simple. So and then you're gonna want to make sure that all of these are obviously on full delay, so that there's the most amount of time between each shot. But you can mess around with it and uh, make it shoot faster or or uh, slower. But this is obviously the slowest it can go. So but you can do whatever you want with it. And now all we have to do is uh, press this button right here which will activate the all these dispensers simultaneously and then it'll launch this TNT very far. So let's try it out and then basically that's it. So if you press that button like that the clock goes around in a circle like that. Those TNT get ignited and then, as you can see, it launches this TNT very far. I wasn't underestimating the fact that it shoots very far. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. It's a very long-range TNT cannon. It's fully automatic, and uh, it's not that hard to make. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, and please be sure to subscribe to our videos if you enjoyed this one, and uh, drop a like if you enjoyed as well.